Hey guys, welcome back to Gotham. We're just going to jump right into it. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your get well wishes and just understanding with everything that was going on. I am feeling a lot better. But thank you guys and we're just going to jump right into it. And for this week's Starter Spotlights, we had no submissions for the episode 14. But fear not, we do. If you guys have a uh, Starter Spotlight submissions, you can submit it for next week's episode. Or the latest one as by the time you guys watch this because I'm currently catching up. But it's okay. We still got some submissions and you guys will be in next uh, video for episode 15. 16 recapping 15 because remember when you submit your video for Stardust Spotlight you're in the next video's reactions you help us recap and we want to hear what you guys have to say about the episode too I love Gotham as much as you guys do it's such an amazing show and it's definitely kicking off and it's building up and I want to see where everything leads and how everyone just deals with everything so we're just going to jump into it this is Gotham season 4 episode 15 the sinking ship the grand applause. Oh. Go to the kitchen, buddy. Oh, shit. Don't fire. Oh. It is the Riddler. <laughs> Uncle Penguin. <laughs> At least they're working together again, maybe? I know I can count on you. Harvey, come on! Partners for life! I didn't know she was going to do that, Bruce. There's oatmeal raisin cookies in the blue tin. Who likes oatmeal raisin? Oh, and in the comics you guys get married! After so many years. It's a knuckle sandwich! Yeah. Huh? <laughs> that was funny. Your story? All right. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Never mind. Falcon only really trusted the bookkeeper. The one who always smelled of fish. Mr. Pen? Yeah. Pip. A good luck finding him. I heard he vanished. He's with. Oof. How is Martine gone? They should date again. That shit was cute. Keep stuff. <coughs> oh, they're so in sync with each other. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's still throwing her money. What is this? When Victor Freeze puts you on a block of ice, I'm gonna take you to Sophia like a chilly Trojan horse, pretend to hand you. <laughs> Who's she talking about? Butch. Nigma! Hey, guess what? What's your problem? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, yeah. You're not the only one who got smart. Okay, push your crew. Ooh. And he'll tell us where to find Penn. Well, we could just talk to Oswald right now. Paul walks with the wind. Mommy complex. <laughs> Those jumped up charges. He was working for her. Oswald. Oswald. Ooh. Don't Calm kill him yet. Down. Oh, therapy. If he's 
hiding. He's probably there. Oswald. That's really nice. Now put your hands behind your back. Thank you. Aw, look how much Harvey's grown now. Well, well, well. Sophie is going to be very curious to know why you're looking for Penn. Stay down, Penguin. <laughs> Shut up and get down. If only Lee and Jim could talk, they'd know they both want Sophia gone. I thought Joker said he wanted to work with Pe Oh well, we'll have to see how that plays out. There seems like more than migraines. There is two of them. If you put Sophia in the ground, I'm okay with that. Mm. Last time you came to me with one of your schemes to regain the city, you promised every resource I needed to reverse my condition. One year's on a timer, best I can do on short notice. Being frozen affects my brain on here. Nice. each of them instead of Ed Penguin got frozen and then Ed's gonna get shot at the docks what fresh level of hell is this Penguin's gonna go save her, isn't he? Dawn, then what? She asked me to put her in touch with Laszlo Valentine. The penguin. So I did. Save her for the record. <gasps> oh shit, Jim got cracked! Good thing Lee's on her way. Oh! Fucking. At least they're all semi working together. Oh god, three? So bad. Four fucking shots? And we can start over. This is where our story ends. Oh! You. Yeah. Yo! Yo! Holy shit! She did! Now they're partners again. I miss this duo! I love that they're working together. Until the medics got there. Even one handed, she's a damn good doctor. Sophia. In yeah. the coma. Oh, fuck! Amazing, she's not dead. Yeah, I thought she would be dead. I gotta come clean. No. Aww. 
That Rachel Ghoul is gonna be brought back to life somehow. Maybe this is a theory. Uh, cause Rach can't be dead yet. He has to train Bruce to become Batman. We all know this. I'm pretty sure Rach is gonna get brought back to life somehow, and I'm thinking maybe the key is Barbara. I don't know if that what that'll mean for her, but that's just my hypothesis of what'll happen. And. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for my hypothesis of what I think is going to happen. Because Raish has to come back to life. There's no way he can remain dead. And plus there's a Lazarus pit, for fuck's sake. You know, you can't... And it's... I don't know. It's just... That needs to be fixed. But looks like they're working on it. Maybe he might be brought back to life. Penguin and Riddler are on good terms again. Well, not good terms. They're partners again. So they're going to be causing fucking havoc, working together... Try to do everything, and not to mention, Penguin still made that deal with Joker. Not a deal, but like, they're on good terms with each other. Joker's gonna pop up again, and that's gonna cause chaos, and I can't wait to see when he comes back into the fray, and we get to see what the fuck he does. Because he's completely unpredictable. And let's see, what else? Oh god, I... Again, I love Crystal Reed as an actress. She's so amazing. But Sophia's driving me nuts, and the fact that she's not dead to a bullet to the head, that's crazy to me. But, she's in a coma. How long she's going to be in a coma, I have no fucking clue. Might be a week, might be a year. We don't know what, what's going to happen, but chaos is ensuing, and so we are going to see what life is going to be like while Sophia is in a coma, and how Jim and Harvey are going to scramble to kind of get control of everything, kind of minimize Sophia's impact when she, whenever she decides to wake up. Or if, unless, you know, Penguin and Riddler or um, Lee kill her in her coma. It's very unpredictable. You never know. But we're just going to have to see. All in all, this episode was great because you still feel that buildup, but there's so much that could happen. You know, it's, I, can't, I can't tell what's going to happen. And I'm just kind of sitting here, and I didn't say a lot during this reaction. I was just kind of more quiet, just taking in everything. But you just feel it building up to something, and you know there's going to be a big twist or big something that's going to happen at the end of the season or just coming up at some point because we're nearing the end. We're almost there, and so you know something big is going to go down. Usually that's what happens with this show. And I'm just kind of watching it in awe, just kind of going with the ride because there's no fucking clue to tell what's going to happen. All in all, this episode was an 8 out of 10 for me. It was enjoyable, it was good, it was it was pretty good. And what did, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. As always, you can always submit your uh, videos for what you thought of this reaction on Stardust. If you don't know how to do the Stardust, please just tag us below. Oh no, sorry. Go to the description below and follow the instructions there. It'll tell you what our username is, how to tag us in Spotlight, and there's just going to be other information that you can do and just let me know what you guys thought of this episode because I love hearing what you guys have to say, what your different opinions are of this episode, what you thought and that's all for now and we will see you guys next time.